Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rain or Shine. Recently, my husband and I visited some of the best destinations in Turkey. Today, I'll be sharing with you our favorite places in this wonderful country, one of the most incredible destinations in the world. Turkey is mainly located in Anatolia, West Asia, but it has also a small territory in Southeast Europe. So here are our top 10 Turkey places in no particular order. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Number one on our list is Istanbul. It is located in the Bosphorus Strait where Asia meets Europe. Nowadays, this megalopolis with more than 15 million inhabitants is not the capital of Turkey, but it is still the most important historic, economic, and cultural hub in the country. In this vibrant city, you can find many masterpieces of art and architecture. Hagia Sophia built in the 6th century as the Cathedral of Constantinople and currently working as a mosque with free access will always be one of the greatest monuments in the world. The Blue Mosque, located just a few meters away from Hagia Sophia, is another iconic building in Istanbul that we absolutely loved visiting. Don't miss also the Topkapi Palace, the former residence of the powerful Ottoman sultans and the administrative center of their empire for several centuries. No matter if you love shopping or not, a visit to Istanbul cannot be complete without stepping into the Grand Bazaar one of the oldest covered markets in the entire world. The Basilica Cistern, the Galata Bridge, and the district of Beyoglu. The colorful neighborhood of Palat, taking a ferry across the Golden Horn towards its Asian side. You can watch our top 10 Istanbul video for a more detailed summary of one of the most interesting cities in our planet. Next on our list is Cappadocia. This historical region of Anatolia is located in the center of Turkey. Nowadays, Cappadocia, the land of beautiful horses, may seem like a trendy touristic destination, but beyond the stunning balloon rides at sunrise and its unique rock formations, there is also a region with an amazing past where you can find peaceful moments surrounded by unreal nature. The historic town of Goreme with its caves and stone architecture, is one of the best places to stay for exploring Cappadocia. Visit the Goreme Open Air Museum to learn how the early Christians used the fairy chimneys to hide in times of persecution, but also to build houses and colorful churches. Every sunrise, if the weather is good, and it's not too windy, around 200 balloons fly through the Cappadocian sky and skillfully between the rock formations. Riding the balloons or even watching them from the numerous viewpoints is an unforgettable experience and a must activity in Cappadocia. Don't miss the town of Uchisar with its impressive castle. Our favorite hike routes were the Love Valley, the Zelve Valley and Open Museum, and also the Pigeon Valley. Watch our top 10 Cappadocia video for a precise summary of one of the most unique places on Earth. Pamuk 
Kale is our number three. It is located in southwestern Turkey. The name Pamukale means cotton castle in Turkish, and you will agree with this definition as soon as you see this magical place in person. We advise to access the site from the south or lower gate to immerse yourself in the travertines immediately and also as early in the morning as possible to avoid the crowds. This surreal landscape has been created due to the flowing of thermal spring water which leaves behind a calcium carbonate mineral that eventually crystallizes forming these white travertine rocks. Some of the hot springs can be accessed by the visitors, but please don't climb to the upper terraces. The authorities are working hard to restore their best splendor. Don't miss the ancient archaeological site of Heraplis, located on top of the travertine pools. Built by the Greeks in the 2nd century, in the ruins of the city, you can still swim in the Cleopatra's antique pool. Visit its impressive Roman theater and also learn about the curious use of its Plutonian or Temple of Hades. Number 4 on our list are Pusadasi and Ephesus. They are located in the northwest of the Turkish Riviera. Kusadasi is one of the most famous coastal havens in the fascinating Aegean region. This seaside city has a very busy port and there are many touristic boats that sail from its harbor. The Pigeon Island with its castle, is one of the most well-known sites in the town. Usadasi is also popular for its seafood, and we couldn't miss trying some. The Kervan Sarai is a fortress built 400 years ago to protect the merchants in the region, where they could trade and store their products, and also served as a safe accommodation for them. Nowadays, the streets of Kusadasi are still famous for its numerous stores, but I preferred to spend our time in the city petting all the cute stray dogs that I saw. Just 30 minutes driving from Kusadasi, the ancient city of Ephesus is another must visit in this area. This magnificent city was first built by Greeks in the 10th century BC on the coast of the Aegean Sea. It was under Roman rule around the year 110, when its famous library of Celsus was built by a consul named Aquila. The splendor of Ephesus slowly faded due to consecutive sackings in the 7th century but mainly because of the loss of its harbor that was slowly silted up by the nearby river. Today, the sea is located 5 kilometers away from this ancient city. Sirinje is the number 5. It is located just 11 kilometers away from the site of Ephesus. Sirinje is considered to be one of the most beautiful little towns in Turkey. Always with a small population, this quaint mountain village slowly prospered for centuries since its beginning in the Hellenistic period until the 19th century when most of its current picturesque constructions were built. Walk across its narrow pedestrian streets and you will quickly fall in love with its Ottoman Christian architecture. Numerous historical references mention that the village was mainly inhabited by Greeks until 1923, a year that saw the exchange of populations between Turkey and Greece. Many Turkish people were then relocated in Sirinje, and an interesting mixture of cultures emerged here. Though we didn't try their famous wines, we absolutely loved their natural juices. Dalian 
Tokyan and Istuzu Beach are our number six. Located in the province of Mula, part of the Turkish Riviera. Dalian's main attraction is its serene river. From Dalian Harbor, situated just next to the main square of the town, there are many boat tours for groups with different itineraries. By the time we arrived, all of them had already departed. We were lucky to find Mutlu, also known as Happy Captain, who adjusted a private boat tour for us. We haven't left Dalian town when we witnessed the tombs of Kaunos on the other side of the river. These funerary monuments were cut on the rock by the Lycians around the year 400 BC. For almost one hour, we continued our calm journey across the river, surrounded by mountains, until we reached Istuzu Beach, where we saw several sea turtles swimming under us. Wow, it's out. Oh, wow, whoa. It's coming. Wow. Istuzu is also known as Turtle Beach, as this is one of the most important breeding places for loggerhead sea turtles in the Mediterranean. Visit the Decamer Sea Turtle Rescue Center to learn more about these majestic animals and contribute to the conservation work that they do here to protect them. Hike to the Istuzu Beach viewpoint to enjoy an astonishing panorama of this natural paradise. This area would have been now much more different without the efforts of June Haimov and many other environmentalists that saved the beach in the 1980s. Next are Oludenis and the Butterfly Valley. They are also located in the province of Mula. Oludeniz is one of the most famous destinations in the Turkish Riviera. This resort town is well known for its long beach and for its blue lagoon. There are many companies that offer adventure activities in Oludeniz, being paragliding one of the most popular things to do. The Lishan Way starts from the nearby Babadag Mountain and after hiking it for 30 minutes, you can enjoy one of the best views over Oludenis. There are numerous Turkish hamams in the town and we had an amazing and relaxing treatment in Sanctuary Day Spa. Just 15 minutes driving from Oludenis, you'll find the main viewpoint over the Butterfly Valley. This breathtaking valley gets its name from the numerous butterfly species that live here. Though most people stay at the top, we went down the rocks for better views over the beach. Be extremely careful if you do the same. Don't forget that you're at the edge of a sharp cliff. We wished we could have had time to get to the bottom of the valley. Number 8 on our list is Cash. It is located in the province of Antalya, in the south of the Turkish Riviera. This town is considered one of the most beautiful ones in Turkey. Kash is a welcoming seaside destination that still conserves its authentic charm due to its incredible location surrounded by the mountains in one side and the sea in the other. Its old town has lovely pedestrian streets 
with characteristic wooden balconies in many of its buildings. During our visit, they also had the colorful decorations for the 100 years anniversary of the Turkish Republic. You can also find important lesion tombs from the 4th century BC in Kash. Don't miss also its harbor with the Kash lighthouse and the nearby tiny little cove known as Small Pebble Beach. The Antiphalus Theater, with its unique position overlooking the sea, is probably the best place to enjoy the sunset in the town. This Hellenistic amphitheater, built in the 1st century BC, was part of the Greek city of Antiphalos, known originally as the ancient Lycian city of Habesos. Next on our list is Kapudash Beach. It is located just 20 kilometers away from Kash. This incredible natural cove is situated next to a main coastal road that brings you to Kash. So it is a perfect place to visit if you are in town. Even in late October, the weather was lovely and quite warm. There are very few parking spaces available, so we advise to visit this beach early in the morning to park without issues. Its turquoise water immediately reminded us of our beautiful trip to the Italian island of Sardinia. Swimming in its pristine waters is truly memorable. While I was reading my book, Chano spent a good time trying to film the curious fishes that were close to the shore. Last but not the least are Kalikoy and Kekova Island. They are also located in the province of Antalya. Not long time ago, the only way to visit Kalikoy was by boat. But now, there is a parking area and a rocky trail to reach it. On your way, you'll see monumental tombs. This huge sarcophagi were built by the Lycians around the 4th century BC. Kalikoy, previously known as Simena, is really a special place. Its beautiful buildings made of a well-balanced mix of stone and wood are often connected directly with the piers of its harbor. Is the opportunity to swim in the incredibly clear waters of Kalikoy. This area is especially protected as a natural and historic site, so the sea here is absolutely gorgeous. Many of the underwater rocks are part of buildings that were submerged due to an earthquake that damaged Zimena in the 2nd century AD. The nearby sunken city of Kekova Island is also a must visit, and to get there, we hide a 30 minutes boat tour in Zimena restaurant. Today, uninhabited and protected by the government, Kekova was also badly hit with the same earthquake. In its north side, the ruins of the ancient town of Dolakiste are now partially sunken in the waters of the Mediterranean. The 
Vienna Castle was a strategic fortress rebuilt by the Knights of Rhodes over Roman and Byzantine previous structures. Climbing to its top offers the perfect location to witness the sunset. That ends our top 10 places to visit in Turkey. Let us know in the comment section if you know other places in this country as we know that there is still so much to explore over there. And if you want to know more about our detailed trip to some of these destinations, including tips about accommodation, transportation, and foods, plus other places that we visited, check our full vlogs of Turkey and our top 10 videos too. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel content. Most of our viewers haven't subscribed yet. It's really important to help us grow our channel in order to post more videos in the future. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.